to MasterGuitar.ca. We're going to be learning a bunch of parts of the Red Chili Peppers song today of Californication. Um, that was the first part. We just played the intro on the tab on the site. You can see. Um, we're going to get real close now to here so you can see how it's played. It starts out with almost an A minor chord uh, variation. And we're hitting, you're in the A minor chord, hitting the A string open, followed by the D string, which is this string here. And we're lifting our first finger off to hit the B string open. So it goes. So, no. so that's B string open, then B string first fret. And then we're going to uh, an F power chord. So first finger on the first fret of the top string, third finger on the third fret of the second string. So. And here I'm doing one, three on the top. So one, three. And then on the G string, I'm hitting open two, open two, so one, three, open two, and then I'm going, I'm hitting just on the third fret here, so, but I'm doing it in the same position, so, so, hitting the D string and then the A string in the same position, so, like that. Um, the second time it goes through, it does the exact same thing except for the last two notes. It goes. Then it goes. And what's hitting here is the third fret of the D string, three, then open. So. That's how that part goes. Uh, the verse, you'll see the next part, is the exact same as the intro. Oh, is the exact same as the intro, except that it adds one piece on the end that has the C, G, and D chords in it. So it goes, it's understood. So I'm hitting, I'm in the C chord here, and I'm playing the A string, D string, and then strumming the bottom three. So it's understood that, and then going to G. Hollywood, so that's the E and then the A and then strum the bottom four. Swoon sounds California. So here we're in the F power chord, so F is first fret, third fret, third fret on the E, A, and D string, so so it hits the E, A, D, A string. And then we're going to the D chord, which is uh, you hit the D string open, so D string, G string, and then the bottom two. So play that part again, so it goes. And that's how that middle part goes. If you look at the pre-chorus, um, it does this neat little interlude while they're not singing. Oh, I've done it again. Neat little in while they're not singing, and it's in the A minor and a version of the F chord, which we're going to do. It's actually called C over F. Uh, there it is. So, play start with the A minor, it goes. And this chord is you've got your middle finger on the third fret of the A string, pinky finger on the third fret of the D string, uh, middle finger on the second fret of the G string, and first finger on the first fret of the B string. And you're not hitting the top string, but you're hitting the bottom string open. So the bottom five strings. So. Oh, sorry. You did that twice. And then it goes to the chorus, and you'll see the next part. Starts out with C, so it's understood that. And then we're doing G, but we're only strumming the middle four chords a bit. So that's strumming the A, D, G, and B string. So Hollywood. I could do it like just like that, but I'm putting on the full chord just because it's easier for me. So it's Understood that Hollywood says California. And that's D minor. Californication. And 
that's all I need to know for the chorus part. So it's, so it goes, um, it's understood that Hollywood sells, sells And then the solo, and the solo part has a different chord part that goes along with it. Uh, starts with F sharp minor, which is the second fret E minor bar chord. D. And these are all bar chords. So we're going to the D bar chord. So B. So when the solo is playing, uh, those are the chords that are going along for a second guitar that I've just made up to go along with it because there's really not a second guitar in that band. Um, the solo now is kind of tricky. It starts out on the 10th fret of the B string. So we'll get down here so you can see it just a little bit clearer. Hopefully uh, we can zoom in a bit so you can see that. Okay, we're starting on the 10th fret and it goes... I'll move up a little bit. Okay, 10th fret goes... Sorry. Hopefully that gives it a little easier. I mean, there's not a whole lot of tricks to it. Um, in the third bar on it, you see that there's 14 and 16 both, and one has a bend. Uh, in order to do that move, I just put my first finger on the 14th fret and uh, of the B string, and my ring finger on the 16th fret of the G string. And I pl I strum I pick both strings down here, and I'm just bending up, pick both, and bend up to about the same note. So. And that's all you need to do. When you see a squiggly line, it's a vibrato, so all I'm doing is I'm hitting one note and trying to shake it with my hand a little bit when you see that squiggly line. So I'd say work through it really slow. I'll play it really slow once again, so. rings back into the very first fit. So I hope that's helped you. If you have any questions, email me at jonathan.carl.odonnell at masterguitar.ca and uh, hopefully we can help you go through this. If you have any more questions or any, anything else you'd like to see specifically, uh, email me and I'll be uh, glad to put it in this video so you can see it. Thanks a lot and thanks for visiting masterguitar.ca.